Hi there, it's Andy from GM Car Sales here just to do a virtual test drive on the Mini Cooper uh, that we have in stock at the moment. Uh, inside the car, uh, you can see here we've got steering wheel controls with cruise control, uh, radio controls and voice controls for your telephone controlled by Bluetooth. Um, looking around as well, nice interior of the car, full leather seats. Uh, we've actually got heated seats as well down here. Uh, I've got them on at the moment, they're nice and toasty so they're working nicely. Uh, air conditioning as well, I've got that on. It's nice and cool, just what you'd like to see. Um, looking at the kit center console here. So it's, it's all controlled from down at the gear stick. Uh, it's got your vehicle information, mini service and uh, telephone control for your contacts, DAB radio, media, just all the settings on the car as well. It's, it's really the central hub of the car. Um, going into here, to the radio. It's a DAB, like I said. And just turn the volume up. So you can hear the good quality radio. No distortion, even at a slightly higher level. Okay, look, the interior condition is very good with the car. No real scratches, scrapes, anything like that. A nice wee touch there, obviously, like I said, it's the Lon London uh, 2012 edition. So you've got a wee skyline here of London. So this will go for a quick wee test drive, just let you know tell you what, what it's like to drive, how it feels, clutch, things like that. Um, the car has been prepped, it has had full set of brakes front and rear and four tyres fitted to the cars. Uh, it'll come with a service and an MOT as well. So if you like we'll just go out for a quick sh quick drive and just I'll talk you through talk you through the car. So there's a pull away clutch, feels quite nice, sometimes it can be quite heavy in a mini, this one very nice. This one is a diesel, so it is quite torquey, so you've got good pull away for junctions, uh, things like that. So it's, it's just, the, the Mini as well, the Rhino Minis, they are quite hard, but again, it's not uncomfortable. Something you would expect on a, on a Mini, uh, it's not too uncommon. So again, pulling away from the, from the junction there, it's just a nice, nice pulls nicely. Drive along here at town speed. There's no knocks, bangs, anything like that. And you wouldn't really want to hear on a car. Nice wee touch as well is is the the dash. It's, it sort of chases around the outside the speedometer, which is quite a nice wee touch actually. You can see that. So we'll go. Right round the roundabout here. As I said, the steering's very responsive. It feels very. The wheels are quite chunky, so it, you do feel very connected to the road. It's slightly damp, so it's a wee bit greasy, but again, you're not really feeling any any issues there. Again, pulling up to 40 miles an hour, and the car just cruises along very nicely. Uh, being a diesel as well, you'll get good mileage on this, uh, which is obviously very important if it's just to save a wee bit more money. Like I said, the brakes are brand new. So again, they're pretty much ready to go. And I said the car will come with a service and an MOT with it as well. Visibility around the car, being quite a small car, you've got good visibility. And the pillars are quite thick, but again, it's nothing that really blocks your vision at junctions, uh, on roundabouts, uh, obviously you see if uh, the point of view you've got here, it's it's not obstructed, you can still quite clearly see everything around the car. So 
we're just going to pull shortly once the light changes onto the dual carriageway. So I'll put my foot down now and let you feel. So again, it accelerates very nicely. Up, joining the motorway speeds. Again, it's actually quite quiet, the car. It's, it's a very enjoyable drive. So there's the cruise control on now. And I can set it up the way, no problems. And down the way, no problems. Uh, you can cancel it by either pressing the button or pressing the brake cancels it as well. All that is functioning properly and as it should. So as we come off the dual carriageway here, we'll simulate some town driving uh, around the industrial estate where we're actually based in Perth. So I'll just give you an idea of when you're driving around the town, what will the noise be like, uh, what will the feel be like, steering, everything sort of you'd want to know about the car. Um, like I said as well, it's got heated leather seats earlier on, the, the, it's been on full heat, and I can assure you it's very toasty and working well. What nice wee design features on the car as well is the dark headliner. Yeah, I quite like it. It's very, feels very snug and sporty inside. So coming up to industrial estate now, the road is, I would say, it's slightly potholed. So you'll get to experience the roads and really what what they can throw at you. Again, you're feeling the bumps, but it's not uncomfortable, like I said. You're not getting any pull from the steering wheel, um, any rattle from the suspension, anything like that. It's, it's just it's a, it's a, it's a hard ride, drive, but it, it's comfortable at the same time. Here just to simulate a wee bit of town driving that I can. So again, lower speeds. It's nice and quiet. No rattles. No nothing terrible untoward on the car. Again, it's a bit bumpy on the road, but again, it's it's not uncomfortable. brakes if you need to press them sharply working very well car pulls nicely Steering is very responsive. So that's nearly the end of our short virtual test drive. Just almost back at the branch. We are there. Hopefully you enjoyed the short virtual test drive with us. Uh, if you'd like to get in touch with us, call us on 01738 24 80 80 or visit us at gmcarsales.co.uk. Thank you.